Welcome back to SourceFed, I'm William Haynes. Your clothes, give them to me. Nah. Do you like to watch our terrifying future unfold right in front of your iPhones? If so, you can thank Subaru and the all new 2015 Legacy for making this video possible. Will, you've seen Terminator 2 Judgment Day, right? Yes, it's that movie with that kid and his crazy mom who tries to kill Miles Dyson, father of the future. There's also robots in it. Really? There was a robot in it? You right. Yeah. Really? There was a robot in it? I yeah, there was a robot. There was, that's the whole point of the movie. Didn't notice There's it. two big robots. Okay. And the scariest hell villain of the movie is the T-1000, a shape-shifting Terminator composed of living metal. From my experience, shapeshifters are very scary. You can spend all your energy spitting game at a pretty fly woman, and you take her clothes off if she lets you do that for some strange reason, and she turns out to be your dad. You have very specific fears, man. Well, you know, I think a lot about this kind of stuff. You right. Well, if the idea of shape-shifting metal assassins terrifies or excites you, cower in fear or rejoice at this! Ah! Ah! No! I don't appreciate that being in the world. Mm -mm. Why are we making the stuff that's going to kill us? I couldn't tell you, Will, but the researchers from North Carolina State University made a liquid metal alloy composed of gallium and indium that, when exposed to very low voltages, could be controlled and manipulated. I don't know what any of that means. But, ordinarily, liquid metal stay in their spheric shape due to their strong surface tension, but the applied voltage reduces to the point that gravity takes hold, flattening the spheres. Like menopause. Wow. They can then reverse the effect by reversing the electrical charge from positive to negative. One small step for man. One giant leap for machines that will eventually rise up and murder us. So what do you think is the scariest kind of machine? You ever been murdered by a robot? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you're interested in seeing what a friendlier machine can do, you can check out what our good friend Patrick Norton is doing to test the limits of the 2015 Subaru Legacy over at SubaruLegacyChallenge.com. Hey Subaru, I don't own a vehicle right now in my life, but I sure am looking for one. Oh yeah, he's hot to trot and ready to spot a Subaru. Also, I should get a license first. And I'm Matt Lieberman.